Your attorney told you that because that's her job. It's my job to remind you that you've been through a traumatic experience. Look, I know that you think that this is PTSD, but the truth of the matter is, I knew the risk involved. I knew that I could die. It is what it is. It was what it was, Olivia. It's over. No, it's not over. He wants me to remember him forever. He wants to be inside my head. You said wants, Olivia. He's not here anymore. I will deny ever saying this, but sometimes shooting someone can, and it should bring closure. He shot himself. So I would have to live with this image. So I would have to live with this aftermath. You don't have to do what he wanted you to do. You're alive. You're here. He's gone. Is he? Lieutenant, this is Emmy Warner. Thanks for meeting us, Dr. Warner. Officially, you aren't here. But I wanted to give you a heads up. I finished the autopsy report on William Lewis. He shot himself like Liv said. Actually, I can't confirm that. Melinda, we were there a few seconds after. We know what happened. I wasn't there. So all I can confirm is that he was shot forward angle, inches from his left temple. Most suicide victims use a dominant hand, hold the gun right up to the skin. Don't fall for that. Lewis did that on purpose to muddy the postmortem. Well, if he did, it worked. I have to rule it a cuppy. Circumstances undetermined? He shot himself. He forced you to play Russian roulette. We heard it over a radio. You did. I didn't. There's GSR on both of them, and both their fingerprints are on the gun. I'm turning the report over to IAB later tonight. Which hand was Lewis holding the gun in? Lewis had two guns. He had a Glock that he kept pointed at either Amelia or myself, and he had his revolver. And when he shot himself with a revolver, which hand was that gun in? His left hand. Even though he's right handed Lewis deliberately switched hands. He forced me to play Russian roulette. In the first round, he held the gun in his right hand. And on the final round, with one bullet left in the chamber, he switched it to his left hand. He pointed the gun at me, and then he turned it on himself. Let me get this straight, Sergeant. With seconds to live, one bullet in the revolver, the rest of your squad rushing to your aid. You're unarmed, you're tied to a table. He points the gun at you, but instead of firing, he turns the gun to his head and ends his own life. That's exactly what happened. What's going on? Rita, please. Look, we have no problem with Lewis being dead. But your insistence upon telling us that this was a suicide makes it start to sound like a bad cover story. And I'm telling you the truth. The GSR, the prince, the fact that he was shot in the left temple, all consistent with your having shot him with your right hand. I didn't shoot Lewis. I mean, is it possible that there was a struggle for the gun? You were trying to save the little girl? That's not what happened. If there was a struggle for the gun, and you pulled the trigger to save your life for the life of the little girl, that's a case IAB can close. That's not what happened. Sergeant, my office. Is there a problem, Lieutenant? Yeah. What are you doing here? Uh, I work here. They took my gun and my shield. I'm on modified desk duty. We agreed you'd take leave. Go home, take care of yourself. What you're going through is far more taxing than you realize. Actually, I do better on the job. I'll do respect, I disagree. There's something else. I'm hearing rumors IAB wants to call this justifiable homicide. And I made it very clear to IAB that I would not perjure myself. No one mourns William Lewis, and no one wants to see you go down for something that needed to happen. Play the game here. Get your story to line up with their fact patterns. So appearances are more important than the truth. Truth doesn't always set you free, Sergeant. IAB wants to do the right thing. Let them. With all due respect, 
I don't trust IAB. And I'm not sure that I trust you either. If IAB wants to call it justifiable homicide, we should back that up. IAB might be setting a trap for liver. I don't trust him. I don't either, but I do trust Murphy. Why? Because he saved your ass. Because he's charming. Now, what's up with you two? Murphy comes waltzing in here, suddenly I'm the only one not throwing live under the bus. Nobody's stalling. stowing her under the bus. Ben, we know about life undercover, man. It changes you. How long was he using? Nine years. Nine years? And you spend that much time putting on the mic, you lose any idea of who you are. The only thing he cares about is self-preservation. You all on break? Is that what this is? If you were discussing the case, you might want to know. IAB has a good working theory on the shooting. Or that's what they want us to think. Easy on the persecution complex. In light of the inconclusive autopsy report, it's cleaner for all concerned. Hey, I'm not going to lie. No one's asking you to. You didn't see what happened. None of us did. That's all IAB needs to know. Over the radio, I heard William Lewis threaten to kill the girl if Sergeant Benson refused to play Russian roulette. So she had the gun in her head? I wasn't there. But I heard him say for our benefit that he was sliding it over to her. For your benefit? Yes, he was taunting Benson. And us. We heard Lewis tell Sergeant Benson to pull the trigger. And did she? She must have. The chamber was empty. We heard Lewis over the radio said there were two chambers and only one bullet left. What'd you take that to mean? He knew the game was over. The last thing we heard was Lewis telling Sergeant Benson to say goodbye. And then the radio went dead. So you heard the shot live? Yeah, the single shot um, from above. And then we ran towards the stairs. Then you don't know who fired. No. We only arrived in time to see the suspect dead on the table, the same table that Sergeant Benson's legs were duct taped to. CSU found a Glock on Lewis that only had his fingerprints on it. He was clearly in complete control. Yeah, but from what you witnessed, it's possible Sergeant Benson shot and killed William Lewis. I'm telling you what I know. William Lewis shot himself. That's the truth. There's no evidence to prove that. The fingerprints were on the 38. Your GSR on her hands? And when I drove Sergeant Benson to the hospital, she made a spontaneous admission to me about the shooting. Maybe you misunderstood or misheard. Sergeant Benson was under incredible stress, suffering from PTSD, a gun to her head, the deceased blood all over her. Not exactly a reliable witness. She didn't shoot him. But you're not hanging this on her. <laughs>